late no, it's late no, 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 Hey, babe. Happy birthday, princess. Thanks. You know, it must be like the 10th time today that you wish me happy birthday. I know. Look, I'm wearing it. Oh, wow. God, you look beautiful. Thank you. It's definitely because I showered for the first time in a few days. <laughs> and I put real clothes on and I did my makeup. <laughs> well, it's definitely doing something for me. It's too bad you had a quarantine. Mm. Oh, I know. Oh, wait. Vic is connecting. Vic, can you hear me? Vic? Hello? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Hope. Happy birthday to you. Love you, <laughs> slut. <laughs> Thank you, lady. Hey, Matt, I love that hat. Where'd you get it? Thank you. I got it at the Chinese store down the street. So cool. Ah, there we go. What's up, Dream Team? Hey, how's it going, How you Shane? guys doing? What's up, man? Happy birthday, Hope. Oh, thank you. Damn, that cake looks bomb. You sharing or what? Thank you, Shane. I made it myself. I was thinking about waiting until after the prank to blow the candles. Yeah, great idea. Okay, uh, Trish just texted me. She's gonna be... Joining us in a few seconds, and Brian should be with us in a few minutes. Well, it's Brian, so he's not just going to be a few minutes late. Oh, Vic, I wouldn't bet on that. After the prank Jess pulled on him last year, he's not going to miss this. <laughs> hey, guys. Hey, how's it Trish, going, Trish? Trish. Welcome ooh, to the ooh, party. Ooh. Hey. Trish in the house. Oh, and again, happy birthday, girl. Guys, can you hear me okay? Yeah, yeah Trish, we're going to hear you. Good. Oh, hey, is your roommate ready? Yes. He's hidden upstairs waiting for my signal. Oh my God, it was so hard to get him into the building. Oh yeah, right. How did you get Jessica outside? So I parked on the side of her shop by that little door. The little door? Yes, Shane, the little door on the side entrance. Oh yeah, yeah, that one. Okay, so I tell her, come outside. I want to show you something in my car but she doesn't want to leave the shop for a second. Oh no, what did you do then? Hey, you know I'm persuasive. So I convince her. She comes outside and then Waleed, my roommate, sneaks in. And she didn't see him? Of course not. I'm a professional. <laughs> what did you think? <laughs> Great. And you're sure she's still at the shop right now? Yes. And if not, <laughs> Waleed is in for a long night. No way. Imagine. <laughs> no. Don't worry, guys. She said she's going to be working until at least nine, so we have plenty of time. <laughs> I'm so excited. This is going to be so exciting. Me too. I want her to freak out so bad. After what she did to me at Halloween, it's time for revenge. Oh, yeah. This prank's going to be so legit. I almost want to record it. I'm not so sure. Jess's prank on Brian last year, uh, pretty hard to talk. Oh, my <laughs> God. She went so hard on Brian last year. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Brian, he peed his pants. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I totally forgot about that. Uh, by the way, is he connected yet? No, not yet. So, Brian, always late. Oh, okay. So, it's about time. Um, does everybody know what they have to do or should we go over it one more time? I think we're good, right? Actually, can we go over it one more time? Oh my gosh, Shane, you never pay attention. Okay, so this is the plan. Trish snuck Waleed into Jess's auto repair shop. He's upstairs hiding right now. And then he's going to come downstairs and- But not until we text him the signal first. Then he's going to start making right, noises right. to freak yeah. Jess out. And then he's going to hide again. 
and Jess is going to go check out the noise. And then he's going to sneak downstairs and into the bathroom and wait for Jess to come back and down. And that's when he comes down and scares her. Yes. And then he's going to make a bunch of noise in the workshop and like move stuff around. And then that's going to scare Jess. And then we're all going to be online. And then he's going to scare the crap out of her. Guys, this prank is going to be amazing. I needed this so badly. Quarantine has oh, been horrible. Shh. Everyone, she's connecting. Act natural. Hi, Hi guys. Hi, guys. Happy birthday, beautiful. Look what I get you. Ta da! Oh, Make I a love wish. That. We'll blow it out on three. One, One two, two, three. three. <laughs> yeah! Please tell me you wish the end of this freaking COVID. Yeah! COVID! Hey. Jess, are you still at the shop? Yeah, I know. It's Friday night, sucks. But I have to finish 2020 accounting, and beside, there is nothing else to do, so... Mm, I know. This whole thing is so depressing. Yeah. This whole situation. I'm so tired of wearing the mask everywhere. So true. Sometimes I feel like I'd rather stay home than go outside because of these freaking masks and the restrictions. Don't tell me about it. I have to wear it all day. It's giving me freaking acne. <laughs> oh, hey guys. <laughs> you want to hear a funny story? Uh, yes, Hell yeah. Tell us okay. your story, okay, 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 okay. So today, there is this guy who came to the shop because he had a... Oh, freaking mice. You have mice? Yuck! No, Vic. I have like what? One or two, or maybe three mice, but they're very small. They're kind of cute, actually. Oh, and I, sorry, I don't know. Jess. I don't... Uh, Brian's connecting. Hey, guys. I'm so... Hi, Brian. I'm sorry, I'm late. Hi, I couldn't, Brian. I couldn't find a parking spot. I spent like 20 minutes seat. looking. I could never find a damn parking spot here. Mm hmm. Yeah, whatever you say. No, I swear. <laughs> anyway, happy birthday. Thanks, though. Brian. I'm so happy to see you guys today. I miss hanging out with everybody in person. Jess, are you okay? Um, yeah, no. Um, I don't know, it's weird. Or it's a really big rat. Okay, uh, what did I miss? Well, Brian, Jess is currently hearing some noises upstairs. Oh, shit. What? Hey, girl, you should call an exterminator. <laughs> guys, it's... It doesn't sound like my mice. What? Maybe it's a cat. You know what? Let me check, okay? I'll be right back. Be careful, Jess. Don't catch rabies. Ha ha ha. Very funny. Jess? Can you hear me? Jess? <laughs> <laughs> she can't hear us. Oh yes. my god. Oh, this man. is so good. <laughs> oh god. Look, dude, look how she's freaking out. <laughs> oh, this is hilarious. She's actually falling guys, for it. Guys, guys, guys. <laughs> you know what I wished? <laughs> I wish that she craps her pants tonight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Best yes. wish ever. Yo, I have to record this. <laughs> oh, oh shit. Oh no. Oh, fuck, what if she goes upstairs? Oh, fuck. Uh, Trish, can you text your I roommate? Right she now. can't find him. But I think he turned his phone off. It says sent but not delivered. Shit, I hope she doesn't see him. Seriously, if she does, we're gonna look ridiculous. I mean, she's gonna give us so much shit for pranking oh, her. Okay, all right, the lights turn off. <laughs> I think we're good. Yeah, I think we're good. Shh, she's coming back. Okay, guys, act natural. So, Jess, did you see something? Nope. I don't know, it must be nothing. Anyway, what did I miss? Uh, nothing. Brian was just telling us about uh, a, a, about some girl he's been what? seeing. What? No way! Who that girl? I want to know everything. Uh, she's a girl and she's hot. Come on, give me more detail. I don't know. What did you? Jess. <laughs> Jessica. <laughs> what is going on with you? Are you really afraid of a cat? Shut up, okay? And it doesn't sound like a cat. Jessica, are you pranking us again? Oh my god. Maybe it's a ghost. <laughs> oh Ooh, I'm gonna murder you! What? Oh my god, Jess. <laughs> what are you doing? There's nothing up there. It sounds like... Like what? It sounds like step, like... Like, like humans. Fuck. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.
<laughs> Guys, I can't watch those pranking. Oh, so oh my god. <laughs> yeah, I, I wasn't on board with this prank at first, but god, this is just so good. <laughs> oh my god. Is there something in her hand? Oh shit, that looks like a big ass wrench. What the fuck? Maybe maybe we should call off the prank. She could hurt herself or Trisha's roommate. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. Nothing's gonna happen. Besides, he's a strong guy. And if he followed the plan, he should be hidden in the bathroom by now. That's right. Jess said she heard footsteps. So that must have been Wallet going to hide in the bathroom. So he should be hidden by now. Yeah, Jess wouldn't really hurt Waleed, right? I mean, she's not even supposed to find him yet. Trish, can you text Wally to make sure he's in oh the spot? Oh my god. Did you guys just see that? What? See what, Vic? I think I just saw Jess swing at something. What are you talking about? I didn't see anything, Vic. Yeah, I didn't see anything either. Hey, did you guys see the game last night? No, no, no. Listen. I think I saw Jess swing at something. Just now. Relax, Vic. Everything's fine. Everything's okay. Look, the lights are on. and She's still looking around. So we're good. Okay? Stop being such a party pooper. Man, I wish I could see how freaked out she was right now. Oh, this is totally making up for the prank that she pulled on me. <laughs> Hell yeah. She's so scared right now, she's never gonna live this one down. Guys, what's taking her so long? Is she still looking for Waleed? Guys, oh my god. Something in my gut is telling me that there's something wrong. Waleed isn't texting back. Maybe Vic is right. Something could have gone wrong. Well, you said his phone was off, right? So he probably just didn't get your text. Yeah, come on, guys. Don't worry. If something bad had happened, we'd know already. <laughs> Look at her. She's so scared right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. She looks so scared. I think we got her, guys. Jess? What happened? Jess? Jessica? Okay, hey, stop fucking with us, Jess. Come on. Like... I just killed someone. What? What do you, what do you right, mean killed right. them? Jess, congrats. Like, you won. You got us. Okay, oh, so can you just... Can about? you please stop I it now? Know. You're tiny. Who'd you kill? It just appeared in front of me, and I hit him with my wrench, and... He fell backward and, oh my God, he's not breathing, he's, he's bleeding, he's, he's dead, okay? Okay, maybe oh you God. thought you killed him. I have to call the cops. It's self-defense, right? And you're my hey. witness, so you should be fine. We don't believe you, Jess, okay? <laughs> you don't believe Stop me. it, oh all right, God. you win. It's not funny, okay? You believe me? <gasps> what the fuck? What? No, that's not real. Trish, you, is it no. your new room? Fuck. Did you check what is he doing? Oh, 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 Where is it in my shop? God, Jess, just stop fucking filming it now, please. Jess, oh. it, it... It was a prank. It, it was a fucking joke. A joke? Oh my god. Oh, God. oh shit. What? We're gonna go to jail. No. No, 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 no. I can't. I can't go to jail. I didn't do anything wrong. We have to call the cops. We are not calling fucking police, okay? I cannot go to jail. None of us are going to jail over this. Okay. It was a fucking okay. prank. Okay, okay, okay. All right. Everyone, calm down. We can fix this. We have to. Matt, can you shut the fuck up? How are we supposed to stay calm? This is so fucked. Maybe, maybe we should call an ambulance. Maybe he's not dead. Maybe he's all right and we can still fix this. And... I'm so big. He's dead, okay? I'm so sorry. I didn't even know. I'm so sorry. I thought he was going to give me. I didn't know. We, we need to get rid of the body. We, we can't call the cops. What are you talking about right now? Of course we have to call the cops. 
It was an accident. They're going to understand. No, they won't. Do you really think they're going to buy that? We organized this prank. If we call the cops, we're all going down. I'm not going down for shit. I wasn't a part of this prank, and I'm not going to jail. No, 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 no. This isn't happening. I told you guys something was wrong. Brian is right. We planned this prank. If we get caught, we're fucked. We're seriously fucked. We can hide the body. We can go to the auto repair shop and bury him somewhere. <laughs> Trish, are you out of your goddamn mind? This isn't a movie. We can't bury Wally's body. There's going to be cops and dogs and forensics when they find out Wally's missing. And the first person they're going to suspect is you because you're his roommate. But I can lie. I can say that I was gone for the weekend. I can call in on Monday and report him missing. You think you can lie to the police? Are you going to hide the body? Are you going to hide his cell phone? There's cameras in the auto repair shop. And there's cameras on the street that saw Wally go into the auto repair shop. I am going to be sick. I can't be here right now. I have to go. No. Nobody logs off the chat. I swear, if any of you log off, I will come to your house and kill you myself. Dude, shut the fuck up. You're not going to kill anybody, okay? Don't fucking test me right now, Shane. I know some people. I swear to God, if any of you log off the chat, Wallet will not be the only one who dies tonight. I will not go to prison. Shut up, Brian. So, Yusri, have you lost your mind? This is so messed up. Okay, so... Guys, we need to talk this out. And, I don't know, agree on the story. But hiding the body is not an option, okay? No way, no. I'm not doing that. No. It's crazy. Jess is right. Hiding the body is an insane idea. But we still have to make a choice. We can call the police, tell them the entire story, and accept our punishment. What's the other choice? We lie. Jess calls the police and tells them a lie that saves all of us. But would that even work? We can... I mean... What lie could we tell to the cops that saves all of us? We can... We can tell them it was all on Walid. He went and he robbed Jess, and no one told him to do it. And Jess was just defending herself. That could work. That could work. I could tell him that he's been shady and he's really in need of money. I am his roommate, so... I was his roommate. So it's possible that I could have told him about how well Jess's shop is doing, and he knows there's cash there. Are you guys even hearing yourselves right now? We can't shift the blame on Walid. He was only in there because we sent him there in the first place. We can't ruin his reputation. Matt is right. And beside the cops, we'd be able to go through Wright's phone. And I'm pretty sure you guys texted or called about this prank, right? They will see everything. They're going to figure that out. Not if you delete everything. You have, you have Walt's phone, right? You can just go through and delete the texts and call history. And Trish could do the same and, and we'd be good to go. We could do this, guys. This is the only way. We need to do this. No, look, even if she deletes everything, it's still gonna be out there. The cops have access to all of that information. Everything is in a cloud yes. somewhere. Yes, Shane is right. Thank you, Shane. Guys, listen. If we lie to the cops and they find out, we'd be in more trouble than if we just told them the truth to begin I agree. with. We Thank can't you. lie to the cops. It's too risky, guys. If we get caught, it's gonna be way worse for us. But the police won't be looking for any of that information. If we can just convince them that this was a normal burglary. Things like this happen every day in LA, right? Exactly. So there's an equal chance that they'll believe us if we all have the same story. Guys, we, we need to take it to a vote, okay? 
If we all have the same story, there's no chance that the cops can pin it on any of us. I say we blame it on Wallen. He's already dead. No one else will get in trouble. If we have our story straight, there's no proof of anyone's involvement, then we're in the clear. I vote that we lie as well. We can convince the police that Waleed did this on his own. He, we can tell them he didn't know that it was Hope's birthday and that he didn't know Jess was going to be here this late. Jess can claim self-defense and we were all witnesses because we're online together. No, guys, this isn't right. Listen, we planned this prank. We sent Walid in there, and we need to take responsibility for our actions. It's terrible that this happened, and I know that we're going to probably go to jail because of it. But we can't ruin Walid's reputation. That would just be disgusting. So I vote that we tell the cops the truth. Shane, you're with me, right? Uh... I think we should tell the truth because I wasn't a part of this. I don't have anything to do with this, but if I lie about it, then maybe I get tangled up in this and I can't have that because I have dreams and I want to go to the seals and I, I just can't have this on my record. You understand? I, you guys have to see this from my perspective. Your perspective, Shane? You're not the only one involved here. I could lose custody of my son. And I've been working so fucking hard on my sobriety. And Child Protective Services will take him away. And then they're going to put him in foster care. And I know how that is. It'll ruin his life. Please, guys, we have to, we have to figure this out. If we tell the cops, Jess, don't tell them what really happened, please. Vic, I know it's difficult for you, and I don't want to ruin anybody's life. But the thing is, if we lie to the police, first of all, he's doing something unfair because that guy probably doesn't deserve that. And if we get caught lying, oh my God. We're going to be in so much trouble. You know that, right? We're going to go to jail, for sure, all of us. Look, guys, I... You know I care about you. You're my best friend. So... Uh, I will respect what the group votes on, even if I think... We should tell the truth. If you want me to lie for you, I will do it. So... I guess it's three votes for lie and three votes for truth so far, right? Hope it's on you now. What do we decide? Please, please, Hope. Please. I don't know. I, I never wanted any of this to happen. I, I'm sitting here and I'm telling myself that this isn't real. That this was supposed to be a friendly prank and that no one was going to get hurt. Hope? You need to decide now. Otherwise, the cops are going to wonder why we took so long to call them. I know. I just... I never wanted this. It's my birthday, for Christ's sake. <laughs> Happy birthday, Hope. You get to decide if everyone's going to jail or not. Great gift, guys. Hope. Oh, baby. No, but... I know what I'm voting for. I've made up my mind. Thank you, Jess. I think I have everything I need here. I know this has been a horrific experience for you. If there's anything that you remember, I want you to give me a call, okay? Sure. Oh, um, I'm not in trouble, right? I mean, 
I won't go to jail, right? Have to verify the story with your friends and investigate, of course. If you've been honest with me, you shouldn't worry. I'm gonna have an officer take you home. Try to get some rest. Thank you. Hey, Robert! Hey, Mike. We're almost done here. Just give me a minute. Okay. So what's her story? She says self-defense. She heard a loud noise upstairs. So she grabs a wrench. She's underneath her desk. She keeps in case. She goes to investigate. The guy startles her. She hits him. By the time she gets the lights on, the guy's dead. So what do you think? That seems about right. Here. All right. Okay, now watch your step. Well, he was hit right here with that wrench. And the poor guy fell over backwards, hit his head on the staircase post, and then on the furniture before falling down on the floor. That's a hell of a fall. Yeah. But did she hit him hard enough to kill him? No. He died of a broken neck. When he hit the staircase post, his C1 and C2 were totally fractured. And then when he hit the furniture, that was just a coup fatal. The spinal cord was totally severed. Mike, this guy died instantly. Well, I'm pretty sure the head edge didn't help. No, but I have to do a, an exam. We'll see what happens. Sure, sure. Well, what I'm going to need to do is get a warrant from the judge for the phone records and for the camera. Thanks, Robert. You got it. So it's going to be an easy case? It's never easy.